Hello and welcome to the Pygame Pivot Rotation Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you two examples of how to rotate an image around a pivot point. The first example will be a spike ball rotating around the center of the screen, as you see. The second will be a weapon that points in the direction of your mouse. Let's begin. For starters, we have our boilerplate Pygame logic. This includes a while loop that will run and draw our screen. A screen size is defined as a vector two. And we've also just defined the center of the screen as half of the screen size. What we've also done is we've drawn two lines, one horizontal, one vertical, along the center of the screen. And it looks like this. The first thing that we need to do is load our images from disk. I see a lot of people loading the images each time they create an entity, and this is just plain wrong. You shouldn't be loading things from disk more than once. Let's just load them and store them and then access the storage when we need to reference that image. To do this, we're going to make a load image function. Our load image function is going to take an image name and a color key. The image is going to be loaded from disk. And we're going to load it using an F string of the image name followed by the extension.png. Finally, we're going to convert that image to the same format of our currently set mode. If we've passed in a color key, we're going to go ahead and set that color key. Finally, this is the trick that we're going to use. We're going to create a top-level reference dictionary. This reference dictionary is able to be accessed by any of our classes in our program. And what we're going to do is we're going to store our loaded image in that reference dictionary using its image name as its key. This allows us to access this particular image using its name from any entity or any class in the game whenever we want it. Let's go ahead and load our images. First, we'll load our spike ball image, and it has a white background, so we'll set the color key to white. Second, we'll load our weapon image, and it has a color key that's also white. Now that we've loaded our images, let's go ahead and create a spike ball. So to do this, we're going to go ahead and create a new class called spike ball, and it's going to have an init method, an update method, and a draw method. The init method will take a pivot position and a starting angle. We'll save the pivot. Every spike ball is going to have a certain chain length. So we'll define that as a class variable. We'll then create an offset vector from polar coordinates using the chain's length and starting angle. The starting angle has to be negative due to the fact that in Pygame, the Y coordinates are reversed. We'll then set the position as the pivot point plus this offset.
Then we need to get the image of the spike ball and save it. To do this, we'll access the image we loaded earlier for the spike ball from our reference dictionary. We'll also go ahead and set our current image to the original image. This is important later when we are rotating the image, since we don't want to rotate the same image twice. Finally, we'll set the rect of our spike ball equal to the size of our image centered on our position. For now, our update function will be blank. For our draw image, we'll draw a chain and we'll draw our image. Each line is directed from the pivot to the center of our rect, and this will represent the chain. In our game class, we'll go ahead and create a spike ball. The spike ball's pivot point will be the center of the screen, and its starting angle will be 45 degrees. We'll also go ahead and draw it. Let's see what this looks like. Now comes the important part. Let's actually rotate our spike ball. To do this, we're going to add an angle to our spike ball. It'll start at zero and increment each frame. But here's where things get interesting. We're going to have to go ahead and rotate our image around our pivot point. To do this, we're going to need a new function. Let's call this function rotate on pivot. Our rotate on pivot function is going to take an image, an angle, a pivot point, and an origin, where our pivot point is the point at which the image is going to be rotated around, and our origin is the point that rotates around the pivot. It's usually the center of whatever image that we're rotating. First, we're going to rotate the image. To do this, we'll use the pygame.transform.rotate function. Next, we're going to create another offset. This offset is a vector that is the combination of our pivot point and the difference between our origin and the pivot point rotated. This rotate function rotates our vectors in the opposite direction, so we'll go ahead and feed it a negative angle. Finally, we'll create a new rect centered on the offset. Last but not least, we'll return our new surface and our rect. Back in our spike ball update function, we'll go ahead and set our image and our rect to a rotation 
of our original image to our new updated angle. In our game update function, we'll go ahead and update the spike ball. Let's see what this looks like. Looks like our spike ball is rotating correctly. For our second example, let's go ahead and create a class called weapon. And let's create an init method for this weapon. That'll take a pivot point. Let's save the pivot. And finally, let's position the weapon based on the pivot a little to the right. Let's save our original image. And finally, we'll set our image equal to our original image and set our rect equal to our image centered on our position. For our update method, let's just pass for now. And for our draw method, we're just going to draw our image at its rectangle. Let's go ahead and create an instance of our weapon in our game class, and let's put this pivot point at the center of the screen. Even though it doesn't do anything, let's just go ahead and add the weapon update function to our update in our game class, and go ahead and draw the weapon to our surface. We should see the weapon now on the screen. Let's go ahead and make that weapon rotate based on our mouse's position. To do this, we're first going to get our mouse position, and we'll cast this as a vector 2. I like vector 2s because they allow us to just say mouse position dot x, mouse position dot y, instead of using brackets and tuple uh, indexing. First, we need to figure out where our mouse is in relationship to our pivot point. In order to do this, we'll just create an offset by subtracting the pivot point from our mouse position. Now we need to find the mouse angle. In other words, the angle from the center of the screen to the mouse's position. To do this, we're going to use the arctangent function, and we're going to convert its result into degrees because it returns radians. So we'll need to go ahead and import the math library. So our mouse angle will be equal to math.atan2 of our mouse offset dot y. And the second parameter will be our mouse offset dot x. The arctangent function returns radians when we want degrees. So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll use the math.degrees function to convert. And again, we have to negate this because the y values in Pygame are reversed. Finally, we're going to go ahead and assign our image and our rect equal to our rotate on pivot of our original image at our mouse angle around the pivot point centered on our position. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now what we can see is that our, as we move the mouse around the center of our, our screen, our weapon moves and points in the correct look, uh, direction. But if we point to our left, our gun is upside down. So let's go ahead and fix that. To do this, we need to go ahead and save our image as flipped and unflipped. Our unflipped image is going to be our original image.
and our flipped image is going to be a transformation of our original image flipped on the Y axis. After we've found our mouse position, we'll go ahead and check whether its X position is to the left of the center. If it is, we'll use our flipped image, and if it's not, we'll use our unflipped image. Now our, our weapon is going to flip as we cross the center of our screen. And the weapon is right side up all the way around. That's it for this tutorial. Like and subscribe for more. I'll be putting out more tutorials in the future. Thanks. Bye.